Ha, ha, ha. Hi, Darius. Whitney, how are you doing? Congratulations. Oh, dude, thank you so much for your video. That was so unexpected. Well, absolutely. absolutely. Listen, I didn't win. I didn't win. But uh, the guy who did win, Sway Calloway, he got endorsed by Eminem. And I thought, whatever. Then I looked at Eminem's socials, 86 million followers. That'll do it. That'll yeah. do it. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll but you know what? It. Yours meant way more to me. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. I, that was really, really nice of you. Thank you so much. This is why we call him our friend Darius Rucker. Absolutely. Right. So, two years it's been since you released a song. Am I right? Two years? Two years. Two years, yeah. It's been a long time. I know. So, uh, what have you been doing? I mean, it doesn't feel like you've been gone. I, it's not like I feel like, oh, Darius has been slacking off, you know? It's just like, <laughs> I don't feel like you've been gone. What have you been doing that you've been in front of us this whole time? We didn't even notice you weren't working. Yeah, that, you know, that hootie thing took, <laughs> took about a year. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And uh, it's been, it's crazy that it's been two years. I, I don't, it doesn't feel like it to me either, but uh, you know, it was good to be back on the radio. I did have a song like, like Beers and Sunshine that, that I really wanted to get out there. You know what I mean? That, um, that Hootie tour, you know, not that I stalk or anything. I went to two dates on that Hootie tour. And I got to tell you, the, I, I loved them both, but the one, at, was it the Troubadour? Yeah. It's my favorite Thank concert you. of the year last year. Thank you. Wow. And I think, if I remember right, that was the last concert I got to go to. Yeah, that's the last show we played. We haven't yeah. played since then. Dang, yeah. crazy, crazy. Not, not fair. But at crazy. least, you know, so with everything so different, now you have Beers and Sunshine, and that song came about on a Zoom writing session, correct? Yeah. I want to know the lead up to that. How many times y'all said BS before you turned it into, you know, because we say the same thing on the Zoom. It's like, oh, another one of these. Awesome. Yeah. Then yeah. there's cursing. So how did you turn this into a song? What was like the process? It was one of those things where we actually went around and around about that because I was really like, man, I don't know if they're gonna, you know, they gonna play. I don't know if they're gonna play on the radio. But uh, but we were. Uh, it was one of those songs. It just the song just came and we loved it and we we all, we were all laughing about it because it, it was just one of those songs that kind of wrote itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for me, and the, with everything that's been going on, and the top, we wrote it right when everybody was quarantined and really in the middle of, of you know, not going anywhere. And so I think everybody really wanted to get outside and was having cabin fever and everything. And so the song came about that, just really wanting to go have some fun with your friends. Yeah, missing it quite a bit. I mean, most people I don't even like. But, you know, the people <laughs> who I do like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I'm with you. So did this, um, did it spark anything or was this part of, uh, I hate to put the A word out there, but an album, possibly? Oh yeah, I'm almost done, you know. Oh, um, get out. Yeah, I, I wasn't even thinking about doing one this quick, but with COVID and everything, I just started writing and these songs started coming and it, it was just, it seemed right in the right time. And so I'm really happy with what I got so far and I'm gonna finish it soon, but I don't know when it's gonna be out, maybe early next year, but uh, uh, oh yeah, definitely an album. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Do we, are we privy to a title or is that still like way in the works? That's way in the works. All right. I didn't know some people like might work backwards. They might find a lyric they really like and write an album around it. I don't know. I'm obviously I'm, I don't write albums. So, you know, you know, I, I'm thinking about maybe naming it after my mom somehow, you know, but, but yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That funny. is so cool. You were on that Jimmy Allen that he um, did for his grandma yeah, right. and his. That EP is so good. It's so good. good. Those songs are so good. Man. That guy That's is so fun. good. I know. I know. Yeah. So, you, you know, you weren't too busy to help him out, but that's that's awesome. I'm, it's so funny. He hates when I tell this story, but, uh, you know, Jimmy and I were good friends, and he comes over one day, and he's, he wants to write, and we're going to write. We wrote the song, actually, that's going to be on the record, and, and we're writing. And so he goes, man, you know, I go, man, Jimmy, I'm going to grab myself a beer. You want a beer? And Jimmy said to me, hey, <laughs> Darius, you, you got any White Claw? And I said to him, hey, man, I don't know guys drank White Claw. <laughs> he got mad at me. But no, I, I've since had a White Claw and I enjoy it very much. But uh, yeah, he hates me when I tell that story. But uh, I love funny. it. 
<laughs> Justin, write that. that down next time we talk to Jimmy. Yeah. yeah gonna, if we do it by Zoom, we'll be drinking White Claw to really take him off. <laughs> Absolutely. He'll know who did it. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When I first started following him on Instagram a couple years ago, like I almost immediately had to take a break because so much energy, yeah. right? Yeah. Does he, does he calm down when you're working with him? Does, what a guy, but dude, that's a lot of energy. I wouldn't say he calms down when you work with him. You know, he, he's still that high strung guy, but uh, Jimmy, Jimmy's so talented and he's so smart. And, and it's great to see a kid that young really know what he wants to do and where he wants to go and actually have the ability to get there. And, and so I love talking to him and he, you're right. He's high strung and he's out there and that never changes. He's always. Like, <laughs> oh, good for him. I mean, you know, he'll like FaceTime me like, I want to talk to you. I'm like, dude, it's like 6 a.m. <laughs> exactly. Dude, it's 10 30 a.m. I'm not ready for you. You know yeah, what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, oh, all right. Yeah. So you, you've done a lot of, you, you wrote this beers and sunshine on zoom. Your St. Jude thing, you raised a ton of money and you did it all virtually. Did you ever think that that wasn't going to happen this year? I thought it wasn't. I thought, yeah. I thought it was canceled and they even brought the virtual thing to me. And, I, I, you know, we were all skeptical. How much money can we raise that way? You know, that's what you ask yourself. How much money can you raise that way? And, but we decided to do it. And it was when you get Clint Black says, yeah, and Tracy Lawrence says, yeah, you know, that, that makes it a lot cooler, too. Yeah. And then, and then the, to raise a quarter of a million dollars just over the, over the computer. For St. Jude, that's pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing. I don't remember something like that raising that much money in such a short period of time. So kudos to you. Check you out. Well, thank you. you know, I'm just trying to help the kids. Just trying to help. Yeah. The you know. It's, I mean, that's awesome. It's weird how how um, industrious isn't the right word, but how we're figuring out ways to do things that we six months ago we never thought we'd have to think about doing anything like this. I say all the time, if you told me a year ago that we're going to be where we are right now, there's no way I would believe you. I yeah. would have never, like, I would have said that's a movie. You can't even make that a movie because it's too far fast. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. Even th that movie Contagion, and there was another one that was filmed. I can't remember. Where, it was filmed in Eureka when I used to, when I lived there. Uh, but there, uh, it was the one with Dustin Hoffman and Renee Russo. Oh my God, I'm dating myself. Anyway, they were they both dealt with pandemics, right? Yeah. But no uh -huh. was cutting any nothing went to this extreme. No, nothing went to where you really can't leave your house. I mean, that no. this, this is crazy. But you know, I get it and I understand it. But it's just I can't believe where we are, and I I'm just ready to get on the other end. I'm ready to have thousands of people on top of each other, yelling and screaming and singing along and and dancing and having a great time. I'm ready for that again. Yeah, well, you're definitely the one on stage saying that you want the people on top of each other, dude. I gotta tell you, I saw these rings. They looked like little boxing rings that were set up in a, I can't even remember who was doing the show. Yeah, it might have been in England. Oh, it was in England. I saw that. And I was down because no one could, could spill beer on me. <laughs> I'm like, set me up with that. I hear you. I hear you. Right? That actually looked kind of cool. That actually looked kind of cool when I saw that. I, I would yeah. do that. You could tell that that was in England, though, because it was metal and, like, nothing was covered. Like, if you were yeah. to try it in the States in the summer, it'd be third-degree burns, like, everywhere. Absolutely. The heat I was like, incredible. AstroTurf that bitch. I'll be right on it, you know? You hear it, though, honestly. I'm with you. I hear you. I so hear ready. You. I'll take it anyway. Have you thought about doing a drive-in? Because I think those are great too. They, I would do it. I did a drive-in, a drive-up deal, and it was cool. It was cool to be playing, that's for sure. To be playing right. with the band. But the whole feedback's so hard that way. You know, and you, you see people and it's cool, but it's, but when, you, as a, when you're playing, you realize the, 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 how important the audience really is. I bet. You know, because when they're giving you that instant feedback, it's so much easier for you to give them all you got. You know, oh yeah. You go out there. You try to do it every night. I mean, you know, I'm sure we we try to give it all we got at the at the driving thing, but just so hard with when it's really they're clapping. You can see their hands, but you can't hear anything. Oh, that yeah. yeah that's got to be awful. That's got to yeah, be awful. Yeah, it's tough. So, despite stuff like not open yet or anything, if you've got an album coming out early next year, are you planning for a tour, or is everybody just saying, you know what, dude, we gotta wait? Everybody's talking. You know, everybody, everybody's talking about doing something and going out, but no one wants to, no one wants to go out and t 
absolutely book one because if it's still like this and you can't go out, you know, then right. You know, the hassle of giving tickets money back and all that stuff and it's just everybody's talking about it and I hope we do go out. I hope I hope in the spring, but I hope summer at the latest. Oh, I, I hope so too. I hope so too. Um, you did another cool thing that I saw with uh with Luke with Luke Bryan. <laughs> How do you get any work done with you two? <laughs> Him and I have a lot of fun when we're together. He makes me Luke Bryan really makes me laugh a lot. And, yeah. uh, we, we have a lot of fun, but uh, he can just flat out sing. You know, Luke. Luke I know. Doesn't, Luke doesn't get the credit for a singer as a singer that he deserves. I think. You know. And, he and did a thing the other day, which was a hundred songs or something. I can't remember who did this. It was on video, and he sang quite a few of them. Yeah. And, you know, just to get the title, and he nailed like every one of them. I know that guy can sing. First time I heard him with Jason Derulo, like years oh. ago, it was like. All right, country boy, bring it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. We, he calls me up, you know, and conversations with Luke are always great because, you know, Luke is just so laid back and you start talking and then you have to, at some point, you got to go, hey, man, you called me, what's up? And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, you know, you're talking to Luke and so we start talking about the show and I go, so what, what song do you want to do together? And he says, man, he says, Neon Moon. Right? So yeah, and so I'm like, dude, you know, I'm really thinking to myself, okay, me and you are going to do the Ronnie Dunn song. You right. Know, not, not a Ronnie Dunn song. We're yeah. going to do the Ronnie Dunn song. Was, so, so I said to him, man, I want Hillbilly Deluxe. And he was like, you know, that's cool. You know, he's like, you know, Barry, that's cool. But, you know, man, I was thinking if me and you were to do like uh, like Neon Moon, man, and we sang it, it'd be I was like, all right, man, we do it. And so we get to, we get to rehearsals. And you know that high note, that high O that, uh, that Ronnie hits before he goes into the chorus. You know, I just, I just figured we weren't going to do that. And we're, we're in rehearsals, and Luke hit that note in sound. It's so crazy. Amazing. I really went, dude, that's your part. You're hitting that every time. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. He can really sing. He's got a great yeah. voice. I know he can. But when you uh, when you were the part of the Brad Paisley, the um, No, I Am Beer, like, I don't know if anybody saw this, but the outtakes, it's like everybody showed up with, like, their phone, and Darius shows up with, like, this you mic set up and a processor. It's like you came so over prepared. They were like, oh, what are you doing, man? Well, Hilarious. Well, Brad calls me and goes, hey, man, can you do this tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. He's like, so, you know, we're going to sing this song. I'm like, all right. You know, usually you show up, these guys have this stuff. I'm like, this time I'm going to be ready, man. I'm not coming. <laughs> I'm coming straight up. I'm going to be ready for this. And so we get there, you know, everybody's just got their phones and their computers. And I got this big setup. I'm so cool. I know. You know, you know, McGraw and Jimmy are gonna just started crushing me. They were just crushing me. We had a blast that day. That was a lot. That is of fun. awesome. Well, good. Well, I'm glad you've been finding some ways to keep busy. I'm sure there's other stuff going on that we don't know about. None of our business and stuff. But it's it's good to see. Even though I can't believe it's been two years since you've had a song. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't feel like you've gone anywhere. Well, you know what I mean? You so You're you. always right there, and dude. Thank you for that segment you did on one of the TV morning shows that I think was so important for people to hear about Black Lives Matter, because it's not just a movement. It's not just a saying. It's not just a slogan. It's real life. Yes. You have kids, man, that you have to send out into the world. You're absolutely right. You know, yeah. that, you're absolutely right. You, it's amazing the stuff I have to teach my kids, but you know, that's, that's just reality. I know. Listen, thank you for speaking out. Never be afraid to do that and be you, because honestly, I always say you're one of our favorite people. And, you know, and most of the time, you know, with those other folks, I've just blown smoke. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> You're <laughs> all the but, but you know how much I love you. I love you. You are one of my hands down favorite people of all time. I love you, too. It's always awesome when I get to hang out with you for a little while. Always, always. awesome. Can't wait to do it in person. For sure. Love you. All right. You got to check it out. Beers and sunshine. Dude, it's going to get you through the pandemic. All right. It's going to get you through. <laughs> Thank you for that, my friend. Uh, thank you. I'll see you guys later. And Darius promised an album soon. Well, next year, but that's soon enough. All right. Darius, <laughs> I miss you. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I'll we'll see you guys see later. <laughs>